Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to share with you my feelings about the Long Array 5 after 6 months of use. Without further ado, let's get into it! I have already shared with you my uh, initial thoughts about this machine during my setup video. However, up to that point I've had the machine for a couple of weeks and now, after using the machine for about six months, I feel like I can give you a better opinion about it. Now, this is not my main machine, meaning it is not the machine that I'm using for most of my projects. And the reason for that has nothing to do with the machine itself, but the type of projects that I uh, normally do, which involves a lot of cutting of two and a half and three millimeters playwood. And so I have other machines with 10 watt laser modules, which of course will outperform uh, this 5.5 watt laser module uh, that, by the way, was also the only one available at that time when I got this machine. Um, and so I'm using this machine for um, other type of projects, for softer material or tinier sheets, um, and I'm using it in my office. Now. One of the things that I love about this machine is the offline controller. I know that I said this during my setup video and I'm going to re-emphasize it. I feel like an offline controller should be a must or a standard with this laser engraving machines. The same way we have had it uh, on 3D printers for a long, long time, we also need to have it on laser engraving machines. And the reason is simple. You don't need to keep your laptop or computer running along with your uh, project while it is executing. Why? Because if you're not using the computer for something else, uh, this is going to be the only re uh, task for that computer, which means that you're going to take away from the life of your computer. And second, if you're trying to profit out of your project, having this additional thing running in the background, to uh, perform the cutting or the engraving uh, is going to cut out from your profit uh, and you will see it obviously in your electricity bill. And so this is something that uh, you don't want. So an offline controller is a must. Beside, I think that this is by far uh, up to this point uh, among the machines that I've been reviewing and seeing, one of the best offline controller that you can find. It is very easy to use, practical, uh, and is doing the job. And so this is, uh, let's say, one of the uh, winning point about this machine. Now, another thing that I like is the laser module. Now, uh, in this machine, I got the five and a half watt laser module, which was the only one available at the time when I got the machine. And I feel like it outperforms other 5.5 laser module that I've been uh, reviewing in this channel. Um, so I feel like it has a greater cutting ability than other 5.5 uh, watt laser module. Now, the reason most probably has to do with their optics, with their laser compression technology, and the fact that the laser spot is 0 0.08 times 0 0.08 millimeters in size. But... If I compare it with my uh, with a machine that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, which has a dual laser 10 watt laser module, uh, I normally cut the same material at a slightly higher speed. So just to give you some number, a few days ago I've published a video where we uh, made um, a project with this machine, and. I was cutting a 2.5 mm playwood. The parameters were 95% power, 180 mm per minute was the speed. Now, the same material, I could cut it on my 10 watt uh, machine, my 10 watt laser module, which is a dual uh, laser. And the parameter would have been the same power, 95%, with a speed of 230 mm per minute. So, while you might uh, think that this should be the double, indeed it is not. And so I feel like their 10 watt laser module, which I haven't tried yet, will perhaps outperform the current 10 watt laser module. So I'm really looking forward to put my hand on it. 
The second thing that I, that I like about the laser module itself is the way they design uh, the cooling system. You see, most laser modules, they are built the same. You have this uh, center uh, aluminum block, inside of which you have the uh, laser diode and the optics. Then on top you have the fan and the driver. So the fan is uh, blowing here inside, which helps cooling down uh, the laser diode. And then the uh, air hands up on the cutting surface, so where you are actually working. Now in this laser module, they basically uh, created like a nozzle, which looks like a fennel, which is basically pointing the stream of hair straight to where the laser actually is, instead of the entire cross section. And so because of this, I noticed that the cutting are coming out cleaner, despite not using air assist. Of course, it cannot be compared to uh, air assist, that's compressed hair, which you will uh, get it out of a air pump or a compressor, so you cannot compare, there is no pressure there, it's just flushing hair through, but it's still doing a better job than other laser module with this uh, very simple design, and so this is something uh, good about it. Alright, let me now share with you what I don't like about this machine. And I feel like the only thing that should be actually improved by the brand is the adjustment of the module. Uh, if you have already experience with the engraving and cutting, you know that the laser module should be adjusted so that you can put in focus uh, to engrave or cut the material. And the adjustment in this machine is a little bit awkward because uh, for now it uses a, a two-handed operation, so there are two knobs which you have to unscrew and then to place a reference block which they provide on the back side uh, and so this is a little bit awkward. Now it is not the worst because if you take on machines like Nege you still need to use uh, an Allen key or a tool basically in addition and a measuring tool to position the block so definitely it is not the worst but it's something that would be nice if they would have implemented. Now, does this impact the overall functionality of the machine? Of course, no. Uh, it is still a relatively simple thing to do. It is just a little bit awkward. It should be uh, improved. But overall, uh, it is still uh, doable. Now, there's one thing that I uh, would like the brand to uh, implement in their next series of machine, and that is uh, auxiliary switches. So uh, switches which allows you to control, uh, for example, air assist or the fan or some other accessories that you might need uh, along with the machine. And so if they implement that, I think the machine would be uh, even better than what it is right now. All right, so what's my final verdict? It is overly a good machine. The offline controller uh, is unique and uh, very useful. And I feel like if they improve and implement these couple of things that I mentioned, uh, they will make it almost the perfect machine at the current price tag uh, because, of course, we haven't talked about that, but it's a relatively cheap machine for what you get. Um, and so I would definitely recommend it if you are out there looking to buy a machine. And this is pretty much all. I hope you found my video helpful, informative. If you have any comment, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Ciao for now.